Sw- yeah. Swindon, not in the single market. Not Swindon, Sweden. 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 <laughs> I didn't say Swindon. Sweden, not in the single like market. Sweden, not in the single 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 market. Very boring, isn't it? Well, I think I'm not. Right. But if you show me, yeah. this is, a, I'm a simple guy. I know. You show me how leaving the EU will benefit me and my family, I'm with you. But you can't. All you're telling me, for five years it's going to be bad and it might get better. I'm worried about, do I get a school place in the local school that's a good school? Right. Why so, are you bringing race into it? I'll explain it's why I'm bringing race into it. It's thoroughly nothing to do with race. Oh, okay. Is it anti foreign? They could all be, all right, is a French they could person all be Australian, all right. which probably is, it, is going to be the, is, exactly is it, the is same. It's a French person a foreigner. I'm trying to understand your so words. Now you're bringing the word foreigner into this. Are they a foreigner? Why do you bring these words of race, foreigner? Are they a foreigner? I'm all I'm talking about is a place in the but school. But is a French person a foreigner? Waiting in the A&E Is a French person a foreigner or not? Getting a registered place with a local dentist. Is a French a person doctor. a foreigner or not? It's, and what's it got to do with it? Because I want to use words you understand so I apply them correctly. Yeah. Yeah. In the referendum where they wanted, to, where Scotland was going to leave the, the UK, they, they stayed. No, because there was a, no, no, because the Scottish referendum initially was, uh, was before the referendum about the EU. It was, it was, yeah, yeah. It was, it was. And uh, they were told, Scotland was told, we're not leaving the EU. Yeah, true. Uh, and but, then as soon as, soon as they, they voted to remain part of the UK, yeah. Then the referendum came. But do you think you can make the assumption that just because Scotland voted to, to remain, that they're all of a sudden going to want to leave the, the, the UK? They don't want to leave. They've already done a call. Well, you, you, you're saying that if... Uh, they said they want to stay in the EU, and obviously we've we voted out. Are you saying that now they'll definitely want to yes. break away? But that's an assumption. If, 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 if... Are there if, any polls? There's a caveat. There? There's a caveat. Uh, if... In they uh, they can remain. That as wasn't part in their the vote, was it? That no, no. wasn't in their vote. No, no, no. They didn't say if England they leaves, the point is, the EU's yes. already confirmed they couldn't. Well, it depends if they're unified with Ireland. Well, it depends it? who you listen to in the EU. But the EU has said categorically, Scotland ain't going to be. I'm pretty to sure stay. if Ireland and, and the Scotland made a union, I'm pretty sure they'd be the Ireland EU. and Scotland are union. Potentially or the north or south of Ireland. Uh, no, well, if no deal Brexit, it'll be unified, isn't it? Uh, another prediction. Well, what's going to happen? I doubt it would be useful. I'd be doubting it would be I'd be da- doubting it would be listen to you, you pick your facts and figures. I doubt very much that it's gonna be unifying over the next 10, 20, 30 years. Where Scotland? No, no, no northern uh, and Northern South Ireland. So what happens in a Nordic Brexit with Ireland, Northern Ireland? We, so we, 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 Look around at the entire perimeter of Europe. It's, you know, Northern Ireland and, and Ireland is not the only land border that the EU. No, but they've got the Good has. Friday Agreement in place, enshrined in law. Yeah, but how does that change the fact that all the other borders, the border of Switzerland, have you, not, have you never driven between France and Switzerland? Who, me? No. Or, or any other border of the EU? But you know why you can do that? Because of technology, because of Because they're, the they're in the single market. And anyway, not, or no, not every border of the EU Swiss, is in the... Is. Yeah, but not every border so wait, of which, the EU. So which country are you saying? Not in the EU? Well, look, look, just look Which up, country? When you get home, look at a map. Which country? All right, see. tell me which country, which is not in the single market, that you can just drive that across has, this border. Norway. There you go. No, we are in the single market. All right, name a country not yeah, in the are, single yeah. market. They left the EU, but they're still. They're in the not in the market. customs union. Sweden. Okay. Sweden. First thing you understand, Sweden. Sweden. understand right? Sweden. I'm sure there is one. Switzerland. Sweden. Switzerland. Sweden. 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 Not in the single market. Not Swindon. Sweden. 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 <laughs> I didn't say Swindon. Sweden. Sweden. Not in the single market. Sweden. Sweden. Not in the single market. Sweden. Not in the single market. Remember. Sweden. Not in the single market. Remember. Sweden. Not in the single market. Very boring, isn't it? Well, I think I'm not. Right. So here's the point you see. You've got to understand the difference between the customs union and the single market. Some people think it's the same thing, but it's not. So excuse, I'll explain to you. you can't, look, the customs union means you're uh, in a union with the EU and you can't negotiate with other countries. Right. The single market is the four freedoms. Things that are you know, the freedom of work, freedom of work, and such. Okay. By being in the single market, you can cross the border. Free movement of people because you're in the single market. So, for example, Turkey. Are not in the single market, but they're job. in the customs union. Sorry? Sorry? Do you know what I'm saying? Exactly. Yeah, they're not in the customs union. Therefore, Turkey can ch- use the EU trade deals, but they can't have free movement of people. Do you understand? Yeah. Right. Now, we, right now, we as members of the EU have a privileged position. <laughs> Yeah, we have a deal that no one else has. What about North yeah. Macedonia? We're, we're not what part about of Schengen. North Macedonia? We don't have any part of the EU. And we're hated Serbia, for that, aren't we? Turkey, we're hated right, for right. Bosnia and Herzegovina, no, no, no. Turkey, Montenegro, Turkey. Serbia. So what you're saying to me, you can drive from using, the EU state I'm, to Turkey without crossing borders. <laughs> Shut up. Well, what about Montenegro? <laughs> what about Bosnia? What about Serbia? Okay. Well, what about you're, North oh, Macedonia? Okay. Do you understand how economics, economy works? If you're going from one trade area to another, 
You have to uh, pay tariffs and such, so you have to have stop. Do you know how orders. technology works? Yes. Do you know how technology works? Yes. You do. Yeah. But you, you do. Where? Exactly. Someone did that in America. You can't the cross other into day, Turkey without realizing into that. You can, uh, yeah. Between uh, Northern and Ireland. No, no, no. You can you now. You can now because we're in the EU. And you can in the future. Yeah. So if you have a no deal Brexit, here's the problem you see. If you have a no deal Brexit, listen, if you have a no deal Brexit, Southern Ireland, Ireland will be in the EU, different trade no, unions. The, sorry, uh, Northern Ireland will be with the British. <laughs> Switzerland's in the single market. So if they're in the single market, you've got the full freedom, so it's not a problem. But what, what will happen is, if the if the UK come out with a no deal, they won't be in the single market. If you're not in the single market, you won't be able to cross from Northern Ireland to Southern Ireland without a border. And if you put a border up, that's going to kick off the IRA the because wall. I will break the Good Friday Agreement. Build the wall. Build the wall. <laughs> build the wall. What happens if, if they Southern choose Ireland not to build a border? No, it was to do with the Euro, I believe that was. It was a Lisbon Treaty or something like that. So your main reason for being a Remainer is... I'm not a Remainer. Well, stop, 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 stop. What I'm are you? Okay. What are you? What are I'm a status quo kind of guy. Status quo? Like Rocking this. all over the world. <laughs> so, so you, I'm, so happy, I'm happy the way things are. So you're a Remainer. So you're conservative. No, no, no. It's very, very simple <laughs> how I am. With a little C or a yeah. big C. It's very, very simple how I am. a little C or a big C? I think almost in the kind of conservative anyway. Big C's, I'd say. Yeah, we're not left-wingers. We're right-wingers. All right. I was thinking... I would say that. I was thinking of another C word. Right. Anyway. So I'll, I'll say how it. If you show me, yeah. this is how, I'm a simple guy. I know. You show me how leaving the EU will benefit me and my family. I'm with you, but you can't. All you're telling me for five years is going to be bad, and it might get better. No, but my my situation's a bit. My situation is different. Mine is a curveball. For my specific person, if that even makes sense, whether we stay or not, isn't going to make a blind bit of difference in my life. Why I'm not? not because economically, I'm not going to get any better. How about your children? Yeah, I'm not. Unfortunately, I'm not. I haven't got any kids yet. You may. Have. I will do. Yeah, you think the no, way the? I'm not going to say. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, I'll give you an. I'll give you an anecdote with my life. Uh, 2016, we had the referendum. Two two and a half years before the referendum, I was unemployed. I didn't have a job. Now, according to the Remainers, apparently the economy was booming and everything was going well. We had a recession. Okay. Yeah, exactly. That's my point. So the point I'm making is whether we stay in or out. Economically, there is no guarantee. Right, I'll give an example. Without the EU, without the EU, yeah. forget forget all be the same pet. Remember all right, the same yeah, pet. I remember. That, right? yeah, I remember <laughs> that. Right. Okay. Right now, if you're unemployed in the UK, yeah. you can go to France and get a job. You go to Spain to get a job. Go to Greece to get a job. How, many, how many do that though, really? Okay. I was speaking to a girl yesterday. Yeah. Oh, steady. She, she's, That's she's not She's studying as a, to be a doctor in Bulgaria. Okay. Right. I, I know uh, two guys who study to be doctors in Romania. All right. Yeah, because it's cheaper cost of living and the, and the, the, this cheaper university fees. And you're saying that when Britain leaves, if you don't even know no deal, deal Brexit, that's gone, man. You can't do that. No, you can't do so that. So someone can't get up, get it. Unless, unless we're part of the single market and we have the full freedoms, how can you do that? Well, you can still travel to a different country. Well, you can still try and get work in a different country yeah. and then wait for them to give you a contract. No, but you, you first of all, you probably need to get a work visa to get into that yeah. country. Yeah, yeah, but that's so it. You, you but right now you don't. Do it. No, but, yeah. but there'll be criteria, there'll be limits and all of okay, these things. Okay, so basically what you're saying is that it'll be harder to do something well, that... Definitely you, so. Definitely okay. so. So if you're unemployed in the UK, yeah. you've, got, you've got Europe to go get a job. Yeah? yeah. If we leave with an audio Brexit, mm -hmm. that's not going to happen. Most people that go and work in Europe don't do it I for that you, reason, yeah? though. I'm a very easy to please. Sure. Just tell me something that's going to get better for me. So I understand. So your primary concern are the economic concerns. No, my primary concern is this. Why are we doing it? It shouldn't be only good But yeah, but, but you. that's yeah. why I said... Exactly. Million. That's why I said it's the economic 70. concerns 70. for 17.4 million people were lied to. Yeah, but other, what I'm trying to get at is that other people voted for other reasons apart from I agree, economic. I agree, I agree. So here's the thing you see. I keep hearing... Let me, let me address your point, yeah? Let me address your point. This is a fallacy that needs thrown out the window. Sure. All right. 17.4 million people voted to leave the, the EU. All right. Of that percentage, of that number, what... So 52%, yeah? What percentage... Wanted a no-deal Brexit. Everyone because they didn't know. That that's what Brexit was. Right, right, right. Now, that's where you're wrong. Because there are people who wanted, voted for a no-deal Brexit because they didn't want an EU army, right? But they wanted to remain in the single market. They didn't want to lose that privilege. Yeah? Wait a minute. Didn't David Cameron, when he was Prime Minister, continuously say that we would be out yes. of the single market and out of the customs yes. union? David Cameron said it. The EU yeah. said it. No, no, no. no, no. Everybody said it. Everybody oh, okay. clear. Oh, oh, so David Cameron did say that. I remember so him saying that numerous we times. There are people who voted Brexit. What's a Norway deal? Tell me about the Norway deal. I don't know about the Norway deal. All right, right. Deal. There's a Norway deal version of Brexit, yeah? Yeah. All right. And the Norway deal version of Brexit is the fact that you remain in the single market. Yeah. Okay. 
because that's what Norway do, but you, you're out of the customs union. And because you're out of the customs union, you can buy your cheap meat from America then, no problem, sure. yeah. right? If you're in the customs union, but not in the single market, mm. yeah. yeah, you can't do that. So yeah, that's fine, but... Also, right, right, right. right. Go, so this is, this, these are the Brexiteers okay. who didn't vote to Brexit because of immigration, all right? Because the only thing that affects immigration is the single market, yeah? So if you're not probably, if you're Why a vote... suddenly jumping to immigration? From what I, 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 just because that's the reason you don't want to be in the single market. How do you know? Mm. Who tells you this? All right, because it's the full freedoms yeah. that people are against in the single market, obviously. Well, right, even but, if you're against the freedom of movement, how does that mean you're, you have a problem with immigration? Yeah. Oh, okay, I'll explain it to you. How are you linking yeah. the I'll, two? I'll explain it to you. If people voted to leave the EU, but they wanted to remain in the single market, that means their issue for leave, the reasons for leaving the EU had nothing to do with immigration, 100%. Because if you leave the EU and remain in the single market, you still have the same immigration because of the four freedoms. Okay. If someone voted Brexit... Well, not all immigration is from the EU. Okay. Anyway, okay. okay. If, if someone voted for Brexit and they wanted to leave the single market as well, that means their issue was the, the, the benefits of the single market, which was the four freedoms, which is the, the people coming here to work and immigrants and all of this stuff. Right. There are people who voted Brexit who didn't have a problem with immigration. I agree. I'm not, I've never once said all Brexiteers are racist, ever once, all right? Well, is having a problem with immigration equivalent to racism? No. Sorry? Is having a problem with immigration oh, to, uh, to any degree? What did I just say? No, I've never... no, you, you complete, you've just com conflated the issues of having issues with immigration with racism. And oh, I, I oh wondered, okay. I wondered why oh, you did oh, that. Oh, okay. If, if you don't think that a, Fr a French person can come to England to work here and live here and, and take benefits here, why not? You o think it's of no, racism. I'm asking you why you not. You think it's because of racism. Well, well, why is it not? Why should they over how an Indian it, well, person? How, no, no, no. How, well, are they, how are they different racially to me, for starters? Well, the French. Is that a race? Okay, so you don't think it's a race? No. They're the French. white. No. It's a nationality. Right? Okay, the Greeks. Same race? It's close. French is the same. Right. So you, you, when you say race, you're just talking about white people. Is that what you're doing? But I've seen well, Greek you're, you're the one. You're, the one, you're yeah. the one that introduced the word racism, which, no, I you, said, which you conflated to I, I, people who have a problem with immigration. Okay, why would, I'm just challenging you. Oh, on what okay, you what word were you used for people who have a problem with people coming from another country to this country? Well, having concerns about immigration um, has got nothing to do with race. No, not even xenophobia. No, no but you do what understand then? that there are people. What about who have what a about that? What about what about what about what about correct me? What about what about really mundane practical things like, like what? can I get a place for my kid in the local I, I get school? That, I get that. Do I have so, to wait very so, long in A and E when I go into A and E? Nothing to do with race whatsoever. No, it's, it's the whole point is to stop the free movement of people, isn't it? But, which has got nothing to do with race. For some people, it might do. But, but in you know itself, foreign, you know foreign it's got nothing to do your with race. Place. What are you about? What's got to do with race? Hamza, would you be up for open I'm worried about a school it, place, uh, not what colour it. they are or what race they are or what ethnicity they are. I'm worried about, do I get a school place in the local school that's a good school? Right. Why so, are you bringing race into I'll, it? I'll explain it's why I'm bringing race into thoroughly it. thoroughly nothing to do with race. Oh, okay. Is it anti-foreign? They could all be, all right, is a French they could all be Australian, all right. which probably is going to be exactly the same Is a French person a foreigner? I'm trying to understand your so words. So now you're bringing the word foreigner into this. Are they a foreigner? Story. Why do you bring these words of race, foreigner? Are they a foreigner? I'm all I'm talking about is a place in the but school. But is a French person a foreigner? Waiting in the a &E Is a French department. person a foreigner or not? Getting a registered place with a local dentist. Is a French a person doctor. a foreigner or not? It's, what's it got to do with it? Because I want to use words you understand so I apply them correctly. Yeah, but these are the words Flipping that Ukrainians use. Yeah. These are the words exactly. what you're talking about. But he has got a very good point. Oh, sorry, sorry, stop, stop. When does the Remainer mention foreigners? When does your management By playing, you by, earlier, by doing that, what you're doing now. You said earlier that everybody that voted for Brexit, uh, sorry, all the Brexit politicians lied. No, I didn't say that. that. No, I didn't say that. He didn't say that. You said the campaign lied. No, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. You said the campaign lies. I said the leaders of the campaign lied, yes. Yeah. And they did. But so did they brought the law? Which lie? A lie that everybody voted Which lie? to leave the EU because they're all racist. Anyway, the well, point was you brought words vote. like racist, racism, well, that's not a to vote. race, foreigners. I don't know why you're bringing any. Well, I can tell you why. I'm can, trying I can to use a why. term you understand. No, because you're, you're. It's a. I can tell you why an, th that was why <laughs> it's been a correlation. Correlation. We had a situation where lots of people were coming over the Mediterranean into parts of Europe. Germany was doing certain things which they wanted other member right, states. Right, that's breaking point. Yeah. Now the problem with that is that's Schengen. Yeah, we're not part of that. Yeah. But I'm saying people assume. No, they, 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 they Nigel Farage yeah. put a poster up called Breaking Point. Yes. And on that day, a Britain's, Britain's first supporter killed a politician. Yeah. Here. 
that, that's oh, why you're I'm, linking, that's, you're that's linking why those two. Trying, right, oh, Britain's right. first. Yes. Okay. So a man that shouted Britain first. We don't know even whether he was meaning the political oh, oh, party oh, oh, Britain oh, see, first. Oh, it's somehow connected with connected with Steve, that poster. Steve, please don't don't even pretend. That wasn't a Britain first poster Steve, anyway. Steve, Steve, Steve. Don't it even a, pretend to analyse what people no, shout when they do an atrocity. This is nonsense. Don't even pretend. This is like when people said, "Oh, there's racism," and there was some racist graffiti against the Polish on the Polish centre in in Hammersmith. Complete and utter turned out fake news bollocks. It was inter Polish gr- did political Nigel graffiti. Farage, the press did really... has been full of bullshit who, about who was the head oh, there's of an UK? increase in racism who was the head of in UK? this country. Was it Nigel Farage? Leave, um, which one? There was different groups, wasn't there? Which no, one uh, Vote Leave was uh, Boris, Boris Johnson. Mm-hmm. And uh, Leave UK, I think, was uh, Nigel Farage. Mm-hmm. So okay. There were different groups. Right. Yes. And basically, on the day of the referendum, I believe, it was a poster called Breaking Point of all these immigrants, right? And you now, think someone got killed because of that? No. Well, I think is the infer- well, not inference, that's what you were saying. Well, well, people get motivated to do stupid things in these situations. Oh, people get motivated. Well, the point here people is People get motivated by doing Did stupid things by Dawa channels at Speaker's oh, okay. Corner. I mean, what's your point? Okay. A Remain MP. Some idiots okay. are influenced okay. by other say, stuff oh, to do m- stuff. Add the dots up. A Remain MP. Add the dots up. You mean join yeah, the dots, A Remain not MP. Add yeah, a Remain MP is shot dead on a day that. Britons are uh, threatened with a poster that acts like all these Threatened. Syrian refugees are coming to the UK. And you're saying there's no connection? That's no. fine. I don't mind. Anyway, Nonsense. the point remains. Desperate the point remains. Argument. That poster has nothing to do with the UK because we're not part of Schengen. Yeah. That's one of our privileged yeah. positions. We don't have to take all those refugees like that. Yeah. But the poster implied we did. Yes, that was the thing. Now, if you're scared to death of... You, you, you've already been told, oh, this jihad is hiding amongst all these refugees. So that you're already scared to death that these jihadis are sneaking into Europe and then you're threatened with a post. Of course you're going to yeah, bloody vote leave. Yeah, of course no you're going to go and we don't, we don't want um, the EU Hello. forcing all these that's terrorists into belly. our country. That's not a suicide Stand up. <laughs> so it was a lie. It was a lie. Stand up, right. Yeah. So people who voted leave well, voted for different yeah. reasons. Yeah. So if someone voted leave and wanted a Norway deal, they don't have an issue with immigration. Someone who voted leave who doesn't want to be part of the single market wants a no deal Brexit means they have a problem with immigration. Because they want the kids to get to schools. You just said it. You just said it. You want your kids to get a place in school. What are you talking about? So you have a problem with immigration. Okay. Step forward. I'm for Brexit. (laughs) Right? So here's the thing you see. You're you're a turkey voting for Christmas. So anyway. Turkey voting for Christmas. Turkey voting for Christmas. So so here's the thing you see. That's a bit racist. So here's the thing. I, I turkey like, voting for Christmas is not racist. Oh, I thought you said Turkish. I like, I like oh, turkey. It's all about the food. Is, right. I like turkey. I'm talking about the animal not voting for yeah, Christmas. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, That's anyway. Nothing. So the principle is this. Can you get halal that turkeys? I've you, never seen a yes, halal turkey. Yes. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah, really. yeah, yeah, we just don't, uh, we don't eat diseased turkeys. Yeah, right. So here's what, the thing. What's a diseased turkey? Well, see, being halal. So non-halal is diseased. In all cases. Yeah, yeah, because there's One conditions. See, we, we have to take care of the animal. I'm not going to get into halal and turkey right now. Hello, okay, um, so the point here is, because you know you're losing the point, so I don't mind. Oh, really? So here's the thing, I you just see. find you amusing. So if you have a percentage of people who voted to leave the EU, but the reasons for leaving the EU were nothing to do with immigration, I have no issue with that. I've never made that claim. Okay. Some people voted the, to leave the EU, like my man here, because he doesn't want his child or grandkid no, or missing told, out on I, a school place or a doctor's place. That wasn't the reason I voted for Brexit, right. and I never well, suggested that tells it you was. Now, let's, I no, told no, you no, I voted let's, for Brexit let's very the clearly numbers. because of sovereignty yeah? let's and independence. Nothing what to do with What percentage of people would you say would have voted for a leaving the EU but doesn't worry about immigration? What percentage out of 52%? We don't know because there's never been a referendum I'm going to be really, really conservative, yeah? I'm going to say 5%. 5%? That means catch up. Only forty. Mayonnaise. Th- sorry, that only means forty-seven percent of the people want a no deal Brexit. Brown sauce. And fifty-three percent of the people want to remain in the single market, which says the will of the people is what? Remain in the single market. You're making some anyway, very odd Anyway, been a pleasure, links. Steve. Thank you. Has it really? Fantastic. I'm glad you've enjoyed it. Thank you. Nice not, Jordan, nice, Jordan, it's nice Jordan. not to talk about religious nonsense for once. Talk it? about everyone like me. Talking about real stuff. Skin you alive in any that, topic. Oh, Don't worry. Yeah. There was one topic I did want to talk to you about. Oh, it's, no it's, it's not polit- political. <laughs> 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 I heard you um, think, a couple think, of months uh, ago uh, say something historically. And I, and, you, oh, so on, and you said that um, in regards to Spain, the Muslims were invited. Was that you left the message on the YouTube? Someone left the message on the YouTube saying this. It could have been me. I don't know. But you were very and, and unless I'm wrong, you said the Muslims were invited so into like, Spain well, and Portugal. From what I've read, okay. okay. Now, if what I've read is incorrect, I don't know. The point here is this: the, the Visig- Visigoths, isn't it? I think they were the rulers of that part. They were being oppressed by the Catholics, so there was a kind of an alliance where the Moors came and together they fought the Catholics. What happened after that, I don't know. 
Yeah, no, it, it, it was more a case of there was a guy called uh, Julian, the Count of Soweto. I, and, I, I know, I'm, I'm saying in, in regards to that story. Now, he was an aristocrat who had sent his daughter to the court of King Roderick. Now, his daughter had been raped. Plus, there, were, there was political intrigue, which didn't favor him. So what he did, the Count of Soweto, Julian, is he, he spoke to Tariq ibn Ziyad, and he let them come through his land, and he provided them with ships to invade Spain. Right. But the Spanish and the Portuguese had not no, actually no, no, invited. No, 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 who invited him? Who, the guy called um, I, I, Julian. Who's, who's he's he? the Count of Soweto, C-U-E-T-A. And now he's an aristocrat. He had land which allowed them... Just to defend myself. I'm not saying the country of Spain invited them. Okay. Or the King of Portugal invited them. I'm saying they were invited. But it was by this this it's one man who? helped by this one man helped them. No, but you agree that they were invited. But it, n n by this one man invited. By this one man but invited. Yes, by this one Did man. This man have power. Can we agree in Did that? This man have power. Yes, he was an aristocrat. Right, then there you go. Yeah. Did it, were they invited? By him, yes. But not by the Spanish or the Portuguese people. Oh, I didn't say that. Okay, well then, then we're in agreement. In a way, then. Yeah. But you know what? I had a message on a YouTube video about this actually, because mm. uh, someone said, "You know the words you actually used." Yeah. They said exactly the same thing. Could have so been I me. said, I, no, "I think it may have been." Mm. And I said to myself, "You know what? I'm going to uh, I'm going to research this because I read a lot of things in passing, yeah. Um, but you made me want to focus on this." Yeah. From one comment. I'm not going to lie. They did amazing things when they were in Spain no, no, and Portugal. No, 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 that was the issue. The issue okay. was this. See, the, the idea is Muslim marauding across the lands and this and that. And from what I understand, they were invited there for a particular reason. Mm. And whatever happened after that, happened after that. Yeah, but it was by that one aristocrat yeah. who backstabbed, what, what, who was what a traitor. Change? But what doesn't change about the whole thing, mm. what doesn't change about the whole thing, yeah. is that without Islam, yeah. the Jews would have been wiped out by the Christians. Oh, because they were looked after in uh, and in they Andalus. Protected. They were protected. Yeah, Not yeah. just in Andalus, yeah, yeah. when they had to leave. After oh, yeah. I won't dispute you know, that. You know, who yeah. took them in? I Turkey took them in. Yeah, yeah no, I won't Morocco. dispute And Turkey as well, they took them I'm no, not disputing no, when, that No, because what happened, the Moors went back to Morocco. Yeah, but, but, and the, and yeah, the, but some, you know, yeah, Sephardi Jews, so. they yeah, were yeah, taken in yeah, by yeah, Turkey as well. But then we are in agreement about one thing, that they were able to come in because of that Count. I agree. Count Julian of Sueta. Yeah, but that's not an invasion. Yeah, it's not an invasion. Well, it was treachery. He was a traitor to... It's not an invasion, though, is it? It was justified treachery. <laughs> just, With good intent. Just, to Christianity, that's all right. Justify isn't it? treachery. Yeah, Christianity, you could do something if, it's, if the uh, intent is not treacherous. Really? Yeah. That's an interesting thing. I think Jerome said it. So the behavior of Count of Julian, Count of Soweto, was justified treachery to. His I don't own know what people. the oppression of people was going on. I know the Catholics were persecuting Jews and everything there, yeah. and non-Catholics, mm -hmm. Inquisitions and stuff. I don't know if that was, was Inquisition after or before. Maybe not after. That, it was after. It was after. I think after, it was after. That was the eighth century. The invasion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, so, so the, the atrocities being committed by the Catholics in that country yeah. on people who were not Catholics. Mm -hmm. This was ended. <laughs> Good intent. Yeah, yeah. He was, uh, but he was still, uh, as you said, he was still treachery. Yeah. Traitorous. Yeah. Traitorous. That was behavior. a beautiful Brexit talk, though. I enjoyed that. You're but I'm right. Though. About which part? All of it. <laughs> 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 Where did I make Jordan go? Uh, so, Mr. Preston. Yeah, yeah, yeah.